What's going on guys? Etika from the Etika World Network here. And when it was originally found out that the United States would not be receiving the new 3DS regular with the base plate swappable, it kind of hurt a lot of people in the dick, especially me considering that I am a fanboy when it comes to customization. And considering that Nintendo really hasn't done anything like that before for you to be able to swap out stuff, I mean swap out stuff on the 3DS or whatever, it was a cool idea, but we apparently are getting some news that Reggie is hinting at the fact that this new 3DS regular may actually be coming to America after all. They, I don't know, did they ever really specifically say that it never would come through? I don't think so, so we may just be seeing this handheld in America. Let's take a look at exactly what's going on here, and this is of course from my Nintendo News, we're going to go more into detail about it. Kotaku, Reggie, Reggie hints at an upcoming North American release for the new Nintendo 3DS, not XL. But once again, because Kotaku does have a little bit of an air of negativity around it, I want to just clarify that, you know, I'm not saying that Kotaku is like the head of everything. You don't have to suck Kotaku's dick. I certainly don't. But they do have articles every now and then that I find interesting. But a lot of this stuff is clickbaity at the end of the day. I mean, I think every kind of news publication out there is accused of clickbait at some point. Even myself, I admit, sometimes I clickbait as well, too. I just try not to do it to the point where I lose all my credibility. But then again, all I'm doing is just reading news articles that I get hype over. All I'm doing is just sharing my erection with you niggas. So it's not like I'm the one that the information comes from but still let's take a look at this article in an interview at e3 kotaku pressed nintendo of america's president reggie of course about the new nintendo 3ds and its limited release in north america since the american launch of the new 3ds in february fans and collectors have been clamoring for the smaller screen new 3ds instead of the xl and for obvious reasons man have you guys seen the recent place plates that have been coming out for the new 3ds i mean sure you can get the sticker thing you can get like the skins for your XL, but it doesn't have that same level of a uh, same level of appeal, same level as um, that, that, it just doesn't. It's not the same. It's just not the same. The faceplates added a whole new spectrum to it. You could buy a bunch of them, change up your 3DS's look whenever you wanted, and plus the new Fire Emblem if plates look sexy as hell in Japan. So it's a little bit of a shame considering that people could also have them customize themselves. Maybe they can like go to a website where they custom make them, and then you can just have them made to whatever standard you want. It's crazy. Um, Largely due to the smaller size, interesting button color scheme, that as well too, with the multiple buttons and well, with multiple colors, and the swappable face plates. While Nintendo has no official announcements, Reggie did say, quote, We certainly take note of all the readers and consumers that express desire for the base model. While this isn't much of a hint, Reggie let the following slip up after he was pressed again. These niggas is Phoenix right in here, man. Um, we analyzed the results in Japan and saw the lion's share of the volume was on the XL model. And that's with no 2DS existing in the Japanese market, really. So as we thought about, what's the best lineup for us? We thought the new XL and the 2DS would be our best lineup. Not going to make any promises, you know. But you know, I would suggest to your readers at Kotaku that they stay tuned and maybe some special SKUs might show up. And if you don't know what an SKU is, it's basically a model number which stores... That's basically the identification number that stores use to clarify an item. So... What do you think? Should we be getting our hopes up regarding swappable faceplates in our near future? To be honest, man, considering a statement like that coming from the president of Nintendo himself, I think it's definitely giving us some hope. Like he does say, though, and he says right in the quote, um, we're not going to make any promises. So I guess what he's saying is that they're not totally turned off to the idea. Like before, people thought that they weren't releasing the new XL, I mean, excuse me, the new 3DS in America for a specific reason, and that they were only giving us the XL, but. I guess it's more of a marketing strategy, and like they said, the 2DS doesn't exist in Japan, and they were probably making, they were probably thinking that the 2DS with the XL of the new 3DS would probably be a better approach, but to be honest, the 2DS, I mean, how, how well are the sales on that thing? I, I've seen some people with it. It's practical for a certain age group, I suppose, but still doesn't have that same level of convenience as the new 3DS with the swappable faceplates. To be honest, man, I, I feel as if Nintendo fucked up without releasing that thing here in America, because here in America, the United States, we love our customization just as much as any other nation does. So it's kind of like, why did they do that? But I guess that they're not totally turned off to the idea of releasing it here in America. That's what I'm hoping, man. Because from the way he sounds, they're open to the idea. They just didn't do it for some strange reason. I don't know what it is, but I'm hoping and praying that Nintendo has the new 3DS Lite released in America at some point. I don't know what to call it. The new 3DS regular? I'll just call it that. I hope they have this thing released in America by December of this year. Possibly, maybe early next year. Earlier, of course, is better. But I mean, still, I'm hoping so. He said look out for some SKUs. So by all means, dudes, keep your eyes open. 
I'll keep you updated with anything in regards to the new 3DS regular being released here in America. And for all you dudes that are in Europe and Japan and Australia watching this, that already have the new 3DS sitting on your desk or you're probably playing it right now, fuck you. I'll talk to you in the next video. Take care of yourselves and of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one.